Circus of Power with Mama Tequila. The CBT guitar lesson for Robert. What a cool groove. Good song. Solid. Boom. Standard tuning. And I say, let's jump in. What about you? Okay. So this catchy riff here, section 1A, comes in at 14 seconds. We're going to an E5 power chord that's open E, second fret A. Then you'll see double dots. That means we're going to do some repeating here. 1A, hammer to 2. And then hit the power chord again. I, it makes sense just to do it with the middle there because he's going to repeat that hammer on part. And again, without the power chord. Well, he does a power chord, but it's a G, F sharp, F, and an E. Palm muting all of them, but the last one. Then you'll see an open E. Um, and then you go back to the... Third time, no star. So the third time you'll go... Instead of pausing and hitting the open E, you'll go. Really cool uh, outro section for this. Um, F sharp G, C sharp D. That's 2 4 on the top. Palm muted, 3 5. 4 6 A and D. 5 7 A and D, no palm mute. Rest, open E palm mute. 4 6 E A palm mute. 5 7, same thing. Open E palm mute. 6, 8, A, and D, palm mute. 7, 9, let it ring out. <clears throat> so it's... And then G, F, sharp, F, palm muted. 3, 5, 2, 4, 1, 3. Okay. That's uh, the main hook. It goes into section 1B at 30 seconds. Now, if you're... I haven't heard you play Robert at least I don't know that you've sent me anything but uh, if you're working on power chords maybe just now being introduced to hammer-ons and palm muting this is a great song it's super solid this next part you're just playing in E5 anytime you hear the term 5 in a chord it means it's the root 5 which means it's a power chord okay power chord is actually the slang term for it open E to A you're gonna play it eight times palm mute everything except the first one times 8 that's 64 times of this well think of it as doing that 8 times okay so I'll do a couple for you but it's good practice for no palm mute coming down palm muting for a, a bit no palm mute coming down palm muting for a bit where this stuff gets tricky is say you gotta do like a you know, something where it's bouncing, you know, a couple here, a couple there, that type of thing. This is more <clears throat> just solid, but it gets you through the non-palm muted chords, including the palm muting, <clears throat> staying there for a while. 46 seconds in, we hit section 1C. Now, it start, it's, appears to be section 1A, except uh, it's a little different. You go... Power chord, rest, which is the same. Open E, back to the hammers. You'll add the open E palm mute at the end of that. Then you'll jump right back into the verse. So it ends up going. Or, right? Talking about the lift and coming back down. That's uh, the verse the second time through, which is section 1B. This part we're calling section 1C. Um, 54 seconds, section 1B played the same. That's... Those are eighth notes, by the way. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... In other words, each time you count to eight, you've done a measure. Um, section 1D, a minute nine in. Three, five, five. That's a C power chord with the octave in it. You're going to strum it again. And then we're going to go a triplet, down, up, down on an A minor. Five, seven, seven, five. So we have to bar with the index. 
Go down, up, down, save the final down to hit all four strings, the down, up, the top two. Right? And then strum it again. And then three, five, five, part of a G major bar chord, because you're going to need four, three, three as well. So you may as well set up for it. It'll be top three, bottom three. Um, it'll be five, seven, seven, down, up, down. Do that slower. Then strum the fifth fret on the last three. That's an A minor bar chord, by the way. Five, seven, seven, five, five, five. Seven, nine, nine, eight. <clears throat> so play the power chord part of it, palm muted twice. And then strum all four, no palm mute. Then you hit repeats at section 1A, 1B, 1D, 1A, and then we go to the page 3, section 2A. I think this is the last rhythm in the song, and then we have the solo. Now you can, a few different ways to do this, barring the 5th fret everything, or go thumb on fret 5, and then bar the 5th fret D and G with the index. He brings the attack down, in other words, he's not strumming as hard, it's... <laughs> I'll mute the top twice, strum 5, muted A, 5, 5, D, and G. I can mute the A with my index or my thumb, or both, however you want to do that. 1, 2, strum, 1, 2, strum, strum. 10 times. That's 5 times. Let's say that was the 10th. Then you move it up a whole step, two frets, and go four times. Repeat section uh, 2A, no star at all. And the double dots equal four times instead of 10. That's the... hit the solo which is really crazy bizarre cool you do not expect the solo 10b bend vibrato and then 7e up 10b down pull 7 10 7 b e down up so it's seven ten pull 7 on the b and then down up 7 on the e 10, 9, B, E after that. And then 7 on the E. 10, 9, B, E. 10, B. And then on the high E, we're going to go 12, 10, 9, 7. Real staccato. Wait, it'll be. And then 3, 0, 4. Down up on the open. And then down, hammer 1. Down up on the 1. Go down, up, down, up, hammer three. So it'd be down, up, up, down, hammer. Open G, down, up, down. Three B, up, down. And then pull off to one and open on the B. So it's one pull open B, two G. All of that is. That's probably the hardest part in the solo. Um, but anyways, very, very cool. 311 timestamp section 1D, the same. And then end it with section 1A three times. Um, or fade to the end. Remember section 1A is this.